will shout that Jesus lives, Jesus lives. We lift him up the name of Jesus, and people over the world will sing his praise. We lift him up the name of Jesus, and people over the world will sing his praise. We lift him up the name of Jesus, and people over the world will sing his praise. We lift him up the name of Jesus. We're all Jesus, come on, put your hands together. Jesus is alive now. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Apostle Rini, tell me, what else are you hearing from God for this year? This is what I'm hearing from the Lord regarding his people, that there is a new, there is a new economy breaking forth. Come on. And it's an, it's an economy that we've never seen. Now, I just feel led to say this. Even as I'm speaking right now, God right now is releasing the entrepreneur spirit in the church as never before because what's happened through what everybody has gone through, it, is break, it has broken our dependency on the system of man. And we're now coming into a new economy. When the Bible says, in my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you so. Do you know that original word mansion is the word economy? Mm. So there are economies. And what's Come happening on. right Come now on. is this. We're trying to live in the past. And we don't understand that a new economy is breaking forth. And so that's why there are things God is putting in our spirit for us to do that we've never heard before. If you want to know where your wealth is, your wealth is tied to your purpose. And that's why God speaks to us seasonally. I, I, can I just say, I just yes, feel yes, like please, to say please, this, because I believe this is important. See, one of the things, one of the failures of what's happened in the body of Christ is this. We've taught the people sowing and reaping, but we've never taught them business. We've taught them sowing and reaping, but we've never taught them wealth. Now, let me give you an example. You know, a wealthy person will socialize with you, but they won't fellowship with you. Because to fellowship with somebody, you've got to be on the same level. And so some of us have been around wealth, but we're not in partnership with it. What's happening right now is this. In this economy, God is making his people the head, not the tail, the above, and not the beneath. And I must tell you this right now, in on, this year, in this year, heaven has declared war on our debt. Come on. Yes, yes. And that yes. has to be a rhema word. Yes, God yes. wants you more out of Come debt on, yes. than you want to get out of debt yes. so that the enemy will have no chains or holes on your finances. This is the time right Ooh. now that God... I, 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 Come on, come on, go, go, go. This is the time right now where we understand that God is angry at the economical systems of man They've fallen flat on their faces, but I'm telling you right now, the kingdom of God is coming forth in ways and dimensions we have never seen. Heaven has declared war on your debt. So right about now, right about now, there are things, there are things about to turn around Come on, yes. that God's people have never seen before. And, not, and what God is doing right now is this, in the seasons that we're in, because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be good and let you touch on it. What God is doing <laughs> is this, is that he is aligning. There's never been a time, never been a time where the Hebraic calendar Come on, is yes, actually yes. aligned to the calendar that we follow. Yes, yes. Now, when you see things begin to align, when things are aligned, you begin to appropriate things. So there are things right now we are going to appropriate because they're now fallen into place because there is synchronicity. So this is the time right now where we have to be aware of what God is doing. Are you aligned with God? 
Are you aligned with the now word of God? Come on. Can you put your hand together? Amen. Apostle, you are saying that this is the year of cancellation of debts. It's the cancellation of debts. This is something that we've been doing in our ministry. By the yes. grace of God, we yes. operate debt-free ministry. Yes. Um, for many years, uh, when we started the ministry, the Lord led me into built, and everything we built is debt-free. We don't owe Amen. anything. Wonderful. Therefore, I'm not... <laughs> Yes. I'm not a slave of yes. anybody. Totally. totally. This is debt-free ministry. And I understand there's many pastors and leaders struggling, yes. you know, because of debt. Yes. And, yes. and I can tell you there's two ways do you come out of debt, naturally or supernaturally. Amen. <laughs> naturally, you need to do some arrangement in what you're doing and correct mistakes that you've been doing. Yes. And supernaturally, let's believe God. I got hundreds of testimonies. In our ministry, people, the debts were canceled. I got one person yeah. one night, 6 p.m. service. We were ministering, and, and God said, I want you to do a prophetic uh, act of cancellation of debts. This man, uh, you know, brought a debt of $1.2 million. He owed to the bank. So after we did that and we released the spirit of of, yes. of God upon those debts, canceling, burning all those debts. Yes. Uh, two weeks later, he came back. He said, the bank, the same night, the bank, they don't open a Sunday night, but somebody from the bank called me, and they said, your debt is canceled. <laughs> 1.2 million. Yes. I mean, you, you, the bank is not going to forgive you that to 1.2 million. Yes. And I can tell you cars and, 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 and houses and businesses. So what you're saying is so precise. Yeah. This is the time and yes. moment when the Spirit of God is releasing his people from debts. Because when you're in debt, you pay an interest to this system yes. instead of sowing into the kingdom of yes. God. Yes. So can we believe if you now, if you say, Pastor, I have a lot of debts. Two ways, naturally and supernaturally. Yes. We're going to be praying for you tonight. I'm going to ask them to release that spirit of cancellation of debt and believe for God. Do you believe good God with us? Do you believe God can do it? Apostle, uh, Pastor Brian, tell me. I mean, prophet. Well, you know, well, you know, September 13th was Rosh Hashanah. That was the beginning of the new year in Jewish calendar. In the 25th, 26th, we came into the Shemitah year, which is a year of Sabbath. Okay, it's, it's, it's not so much a day of Sabbath, which... Praise God. I believe that once we met Jesus, Hebrews 4 and 9 said, there remaineth a rest mm -hmm. to the people of God. Mm -hmm. A lot of people observe the day, but they don't know the Lord of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. see, he's Lord yes, of the Sabbath. Yes, yes. Okay? And so when we came into the Shemitah year, it's a year where Deuteronomy 15, at the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. Mm -hmm. This is that year Come on. Where God canceled debts. Okay, we were in that year. And um, as you look at the history of America, history of time, it was always in that seventh year there was an economical collapse, 911, all of those things happened yes. during Shemitah year. Yes, yes. Uh, I, as I came into the new year, I, I, again, I believe in praying. And I know people don't talk about it no more, but <laughs> I believe uh, prayer is one of the lost arts in the church. Yes, yes. I believe you, 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 you like you, you, you got to pray. You got to have a prayer life. <laughs> come on, come on. And uh, <laughs> again, I prayed because I need God. You know, I, I was raised in old, old Pentecostal. Come on. Hand Amen. clapping, on. foot stomping, <laughs> tongue talking church. All right. And in, and in my church, you had to be super saved. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was no root beer. If it had beer on it, it got beer in it, okay? And no, no root beer. You know, I mean, just everything was very, very, very strict, you know, just very strict. And, uh, but one thing they taught us was how to tarry in his presence. Yes, yes. How to, how to wait on the we Lord. We don't do it anymore. Yeah, just, just stay there and wait on him till he gets there. And uh, we, we, that, that's something we learned, how to pray. And I, I tell you, Pastor, I tell people all the time, if you're looking for a perfect man in Prophet Karn, I'm, I am jacked up, okay? I, I need God. Isaiah 64 and 60 declares, all of my righteousness is as filthy rags, okay? I, I, I'm messed up. I got problems. But one thing I know how to do, I know how to touch God. I can get a hold. Go with it. Bro, I'm getting excited up here, brother. But I know 
how to get a hold of heaven, you know. It's one thing God said he can't despise, a broken and contrite spirit. I, I, I know how to cry. I know how to tell God, I'm sorry. I need help, Lord. Give me what I need. I know how to do that, all right? So, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm that baby. Yes. I'm the cry baby yes. in the presence of God. And in my time of prayer, seeking the Lord, I shut in at, in the last year, coming in 2015 in Houston, shut in for days. And a matter of fact, I think I called you as soon as I came out yes. of it. And I, the Spirit of the Lord said, tell the saints they're going to have to position themselves for this year because 2015 is going to set the precedence for the next seven years of your life. Okay. Wow. Be because because wow. we're in that Shemitah year. So we're starting another cycle. So if there's a year you want to come out, come out now. Because if you come out now, it's going to set you up for the next seven years. Now, oh, wow. 2014, we came out. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. It was a tough year for 2014. was a tough year yes, for a lot of yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. And God said that 2014 was a year where many people were distracted. You know, we were distracted. We were doing what we wanted to do. But there's a season where we have to align ourselves and get in position because not only because see 14 is is a number you know there are 14 joints in the hand that 2014 was a year where god opened the door behold i set before thee an open door so he opened the door last year and he brought us out but this year he taken us in all right Amen. so now don't my god i'm getting excited i'm about to shout brother Jesus. so so now I, I, I'm getting heavy, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so now only, hey, oh my God, hallelujah. <laughs> so not only, not only is he, so not only did he bring us out, yes, but yes. he's taking us in. See, it's one thing for you to open the door, yes. but it's another thing for you to go through the door. And God said in this year, of rest, which in the uh, uh, Greek is yod hey, but that's what 15 is. But in this year of rest, not only is he releasing rest where we are, are, are reclining confidence, uh, are trusting in the Lord with all your heart, knowing God, God wants you to know this year, I got you. Yeah, you, you, you ain't got to worry. You ain't got to be stressed. You ain't got to be mad. <laughs> he got you. I want you to know that boy acting crazy, God got him. I want you to know that bill that you don't know how you're going to pay, God got you. That, that this is the year that he's going to take it. But not only is he going to release a rest on us, but let me tell you what the Lord said to me. He said, not only am I going to release a rest, I'm going to release the rest. Oh, wow. uh, 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 I say, Lord, what you mean by that? He say, I'm going to release whatever's left. Everything that he promised you that you ain't got yet, he's about to release it in your life. No. Right, I got to sit down so Yay. I get it. Come on. Keep, keep going. But, keep but going. I, I, I'm, te <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, Jesus. I'm telling <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but I want to say this. I, I want to say this because what happens with us a lot of times, Apostle, I, what happens a lot of times yes, yes. is we get, it, we, we get excited <laughs> and we don't pay attention to something that although, as the man of God said, this glory is about to come on us. Mm. There's a darkness yes. coming on the earth. Okay. Mm. Isaiah said, arise and shine, yes. for thy light is come. Mm. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, right? Yes, yes. But then he said, darkness mm. shall cover the earth. Yes. Wow. And grow. So we need to understand that although it is getting brighter in the church, it's going to get worse for the world. And I, I, I want to speak, I, I want to speak as a prophetic voice because we live in an hour now where most of you prophets don't like to say nothing but good stuff and you don't tell folk the truth and you won't tell America that you are a backslidden country. 
who have forgotten about God and God is calling you back to repentance. Second Chronicles 7, 14 say, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves. Now, 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 now notice now, he, he said, if my people. So these are church folk. These are, they, they, it's you apostles and prophets and evangelists, pastors and teachers. You need to humble yourself. Some of, some of you, some of you preachers, you got more, you got more armor bearers than you got members. <laughs> Pastor, you better take this from me. Y'all take this from me because I'm getting Go ahead, Pastor. Oh, go ahead, my God. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Pastor. Okay, this is very go, important go, go to ahead. understand. Go, go. There are many people watching. <laughs> Uh, 2014, it was a, such a fight and a struggle yes, for Lord. many of them. Be, be, because of that open door. Because open doors, you, you just described it. You know, there's so many people watching and saying, I'm, I was tired. 2014 was very hard on me. Now, uh, there's something I want you to do. How the people of God that are watching, my people, what God calls it, my people. Yes, sir. <sighs> can they enter into that? the rest of Absolutely. God. Absolutely. They okay. want to hear it. So, so remember now, he said, I set before you an open door, yeah. but there are many adversaries. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that lets me know that demons don't gather around closed doors. Yeah. 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 Yes. If you are going through warfare, yes. Yes. it's a sign there's an open door somewhere. Come on, Jesus. Because <laughs> if... Because if you wasn't, hey, la ba ba shy. If nothing wasn't going to happen for you, the devil wouldn't be messing with you. So I need you to understand that your warfare is determined by what you carry. If you ain't carrying nothing, the devil ain't messing with you. But if you pack with power, if you're dynamite and got an anointing, the devil is messing with you. Now, now, okay, well, how, how, how do I get into this door? How do you enter into that rest? I, 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 how I get there, all right? I'm going to tell you. Trust in the Lord. I'm sorry, y'all, but I feel like an old Pentecostal preacher. <laughs> Trust, you, know, you know I'm Pentecostal. I run and ain't nobody chasing me. Okay, so he said, he said, Trust. now this is what God been dealing with me about, and and this is one thing I want you to pray, you that are watching me. Lord, teach me how to trust you. Yes, yes. Because we say we trust in you. Yes. But God wants you to completely. Yes. And, and, and we got to because, because as the man of God said, the systems of America are about to fall. Yes. Your confidence can't be in your social security, in your disability. And you got to know who your source is. Come on. And I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my, you know, God told Noah, God told Noah, yes, God told yes, Noah, yes. build an ark. Yes. But when you build this ark, I only want you to put one window on the ark. Now make sure the window is not on the side, but put the window at the top. So that when the storm come, don't look out, look up. <laughs> so I want to tell hey, my Lord come on into it. I, I want to tell you, God wants you to look up. And the only way we're going to enter this, we got to get to a place fast. I mean, of total, I mean, completely. And, and that's what I, I'm asking God yes, to yes. teach we me. We need to learn. We need yeah. to learn. How to, how to, you know, Paul said, I have learned yes, yes. whatever state I'm yes, in. Yes, yes. I, I, I believe it. I believe it. Uh, Apostle, you were mentioned, there's so many people, and you mentioned, you, the key word was let go. Yes. Let yes, go. Sir. Yes. What things are in your life now that you get in hold of it? You don't yes. want to let go. 
Can you lift your hands right now? I feel the presence of God. Oh, and a, a prophet, can we stand? And let's pray for those people that are watching. Lead them into a prayer to let go. They, they, they don't let go of the past. Let go. Let go. They need to let it go. Just, just a quick prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break, I, I break yes, the, the curse of almost. <laughs> that, that, that spirit that comes upon them where they're almost blessed, they almost get in the promise, they almost, I break that off yes, of their life. Yes, yes. And in the name of Jesus, I come against every childhood hurt. Come on. All of that arrested development. All of those things that happened in the in the private time. Matter of fact, Lord, there's someone watching me right now who went through some church hurt. And because of what they went through in the church, it has hindered yes, them from on. going forth in ministry. Yes. But I pray in the name of Jesus that that chain, that bondage that keeps pulling them back yes, into yes, the past, yes, yes. I decree tonight they're yeah, going to be <laughs> like Paul. They're going to press toward the mob for the oh, prize of the high calling. I thank you today that they are no longer looking back. They're going into a new season. It's a new hour yeah. and it's Come a on. new time. And the season of demonstration in the name of Jesus, we thank you for that now in Amen. Jesus' name. I want you Hallelujah. to lift your hands and shout with me. Father, Father I let go. I let go. Say it louder, please. I let go. Let her go, 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 let her go. New door is being opened. New door is being opened. Let enter into. We will shout that Jesus lives. Jesus lives. We lift him up the name of Jesus. And people over the world will sing his praise. We lift him up the name of Jesus. And people over the world will sing His praise. We're lifting up the name of Jesus. And people over the world will sing His praise. We're lifting up the name of Jesus. We're all gonna sing it. And people over the world will sing His praise. And people over the world will sing His praise. And people over the world. Will Jesus, come on, put your hands together. Jesus is alive now. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Apostle Rini, tell me, what else are you hearing from God for this year? This is what I'm hearing from the Lord regarding his people, that there is a new, there is a new economy breaking forth. Come on. And it's an, it's an economy that we've never seen. Now, I just feel led to say this. Even as I'm speaking right now, God right now is releasing the entrepreneur spirit in the church as never before because what's happened through what everybody has gone through, it, is break, it has broken our dependency on the system of man. And we're now coming into a new economy. When the Bible says, in my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you so. Do you know that original word mansion is the word economy? Mm. So there are economies. And what's Come happening on. right Come now on. is this. We're trying to live in the past. And we don't understand that a new economy is breaking forth. And so that's why there are things God is putting in our spirit for us to do that we've never heard before. If you want to know where your wealth is, 